What is there a significance to you in this, uh, or is it you just like the colours? No, it's because I follow this team. Ah, it's the Red team. Indians, yeah. The it's, Red Indians. Uh, You're a sports fan. Oh, I am indeed. Yes. Are they doing well? Yeah, they're not doing too bad. Let's hope they pick up the pace a bit in the next couple of weeks. So they could do better. <laughs> oh yeah, they could do. Where are you off to now? Oh well, the women want to go shopping, so we're shopping. just tagging along. How much shopping can you take? Oh look, we just started, mate. We've walked 200 meters and we've been in five shops, so it's ridiculous. Now, this is a mission. It's a mission, yeah. How many of you on the mission? Four. Me, my cousin, and that one there, and the other one down there. And these are your wives? No, no, uh, girlfriend, girlfriend and future, future wives. Future, future wives. wives yeah. <laughs> okay. And you getting practice already at yes, shopping? Yes, unfortunately, yes. And shopping for clothes. Oh, they're shopping for clothes. We're just walking along. We might go to a couple you... of CD stores and do some real shopping. But you know? are you the walking wallet? Yes, unfortunately <laughs> we are. <laughs> are you going to introduce us to your yes. ladies? That is my cousin's yes. fiancée, Joanna. Hello. And it's my woman, Trish. Hello. Hi. Now, you have, you were saying that these are future. How long have you known each other? Oh, we've been together for five years. Right. And, um, With Trish? Yeah, yeah. So I was actually meant to propose on July the 13th, but the, the MCG wouldn't give me the rights to propose at the football, so it's been delayed an extra couple of months now. So until uh, I figure out a new way, then, right, then we'll right. do it. Would you propose today? I probably wouldn't. I'm a traditional girl, so I'd like the guy to propose. Yeah, on TV. Would you, would yeah, you on like TV. him to do a traditional way? Yes. On TV? Yeah. What's, but what's traditional way for you? What would be, what would be acceptable? Um, I know anything romantic, I suppose anything that's just from him, from the heart. It doesn't bother me even if he just does it in the car or anything like that, as long as it comes from the heart, it doesn't matter. Okay. What's your background? What's your... I'm Egyptian. And... I'm Italian. Uh, but you were born here, obviously. No, I was born in Kuwait. Oh. But I'm Catholic, so don't stress, don't stress. No, I'm no, Catholic, no. it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the cross right here. No, that was, I'm no, 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 just add a bit of spice. How you got here? Pardon? How did you get to Australia? Why? Were you it was oh, family? Or? No, well, my parent, my dad came here for work mm. and then grabbed me and my mum, well, grabbed my mum over. Actually, no, he grabbed me and my mum over from overseas, right. brought us in here because my sister was already here. Yeah. Your parents were working over there? Yeah, work. my dad was working over right. there and then he came here and then started off from here. I think I got came here when I was about, how old was I? Two. About two when I came here. Right. And you met Trish? At Tattoo's Nightclub. No, that's pretty just, funny, isn't just it? having a drink? I was with some with some mates and and you know I spotted her from a mile away and it, as a joke I said to the guys that's the girl I'm going to marry right there you know and then I found it her, her friends knew me and I knew her cousins and we just spoke 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 and things happened from there. Had you noticed him? I noticed him. Oh, she spotted me from a mile. Away. <laughs> she picked me up. Wait a minute, there are th there are three sides to this story. <laughs> no, no, um, no. It was I, I spotted him, but just yes. thought, oh yeah, he's a nice guy, and then I thought it's a nightclub relationship. It probably won't work out. Yeah. Five years later, we're still together, so something worked. Something worked. Yeah. Something clicked. Yeah. Can you say what? I think our personalities just we just hit it off from the start mm. and we just we I do he was like a male version of me and I just thought oh god I can really get along with this guy um you know we'd finish each other's sentences and things like that so I thought oh this might actually work into something good and <laughs> so this was uh this was after a series of not so successful relationships yeah after a, a couple yes, <laughs> and then yeah so it just came at the right time, I suppose. <laughs> Timing's everything. It is. It is indeed. Like us meeting you. Timing is great. Thank yep. you very much. Thank you very much. Nice for to that. meet you. Thank you. I do hope you find somewhere to propose soon. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sure I'll conjure up something. Let us know. <laughs> <laughs>
No, no, no we're over in um, Preston. Right. What do you think of this area, South Yarra? What, uh, what's it's pretentious. Your... Pretentious? Mm. Yeah. Why are you here? To see her mother. <laughs> <laughs> she lives just around the corner. <laughs> she lives around the corner, but she isn't pretentious. No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to stop this now. <laughs> what is the, thing, the one thing that you're focusing on? About the child? Yeah. Um, I guess just making it as pleasant as possible, you know, for Are you going to be there? The entry. Oh, most definitely. Yeah. I don't have any choice these days. <laughs> You've got to be. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't miss it anyway. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Have you any idea what it's like? Um, yeah, I've seen a birth once before. Yeah? I don't really remember it though, but, um... Yeah? Yeah, yeah, I mean, watched videos and done prenatal classes and... Yeah, I mean, we've got a pretty good idea what to expect. Yeah. And what about after? When the baby's uh, no born. idea, we're just going to be winging it. <laughs> but I think that the excitement has overridden the fear. Do you know what I mean? That sort of nervous, not quite sure what's yeah. what's happening, which is a nice thing. So now you're just excited. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember when Penny told you that she was pregnant? Do you remember? Yeah. yeah I, <laughs> I got hit by a car about four days later. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. But they weren't connected. Um, I hope not, no. no. But when, when she told you, what was your response? How did you feel? Oh, I remember what you said. I don't know, it was um, shell shock more than yeah. anything. It wasn't a planned pregnancy. Right, right. Um, what did he say? He said, oh my f God. <laughs> That's what he said. Something's that Big effect. surprise, yeah. And how long before it wore off, before the surprise wore off and it sort of sunk in? Oh, about like, last week. Yeah, right. really, really? Last week. <laughs> Are you married? No. 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 Can I ask how you guys met and oh, what kept... Man, is, is this a soap opera or is this a documentary? Depends what you tell me. <laughs> we worked together, didn't we? We yeah. worked in the same yeah. field. Yeah. You worked together in... Social workers, yeah. yeah. In where? Social workers. Social work, yeah. Yeah. And you met and you're still yeah. together? Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. <laughs> we were mates for a couple of years first yeah. and then things kind of progressed. And right. Are you, do you I mean, just as a, as a question, what's your view about marriage? Do you uh, think it's... I don't get married for any God or any law, right. I don't respect either, so it doesn't really mean much to me. It right. actually means nothing to me. Right. Obviously it doesn't matter in your relationship. No, 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 we're probably not stronger really. for it, for not yeah. being married. I mean, I like the whole idea of the wedding and your day and all that sort of stuff, but... Well, I Penny's an atheist and, um, you know, I'm a pagan, I guess. My parents are divorced, you know, they were married for 30 years until they realised that they shouldn't have been married, so... You yes. know? It sort like, of puts it in perspective for yeah, you. Yeah, a little bit. Yes. Are you still working, both of you? I am, yeah. yeah. Same line, social work? Yeah, yeah, I'm a drug and alcohol worker. And does that... Do you work with young people? Yeah, adolescents. Adolescents, 12 and 21. <coughs> right. H has that had an impact on you, the work? Yeah, look, um, that kind of work, um, you know, triggers off every paternal instinct you have, I guess. Mm. And, you know, my client base, I view them as my kids, you know. Yes. I, I look after them, I go home and worry about them, and, um, you know, it's just good to actually have a baby instead of a teenage kid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Excuse a second, we've just been talking to people here in the street and one, somebody who was here, not as a local, but visitor, they thought that this area of Melbourne was pretentious. Do you come from this area? I live in this street. Do you agree, do you live in this street? Yes, I do. Do you yeah. agree with that? I think there's an element of pretentiousness and there's, and there's an element of the locals and we just live here. Yeah. But a lot of the pretension comes from other, perhaps from other people trying to make it, I don't know. Oh, right. But it's an interesting comment and an interesting observation from whoever you spoke with. Are you shopping today? No, I'm off to I'm work. Shopping. Shopping. You're shopping, yes. you're off to work. What do you do? I'm a fashion stylist and I work at Today is a sales assistant in Siberia. In Siberia? Yeah. No, at <laughs> Siberia. <laughs> uh, what? That's two jobs you mean? You've got two jobs? Yeah. Yeah. Saving up for anything special? Um, no, I've just come back from overseas, just working on my career now. <laughs> okay, where have we been travelling? Oh, it's all over Europe and Thailand and New York. On your own? No, with my best friend. Yeah. How long? Three and a half months. Tell us about 
the highlights? You, is there anything that you remember from? I'm sure there are lots of things you remember. But oh, there were just the different cultures and any major meeting adventures. Amazing people. Yeah, going to all the Thai Buddhist temples, the Wats, and then going to Morocco and being molested in the street and being sexually objectified and <laughs> being totally caught up in the whole Moroccan thing. And New York, meeting amazing people. Yeah. It just everything about it was just wicked. Uh, what's your name? Akila. Akila. Magenta. Magenta. Unusual names. Is yeah. that why you're good friends? <laughs> well, that's what drew me to her. Oh, no. yes, in the beginning. Yeah. No, it? no. Oh, I don't know. No, we grew up together. In Canberra. You grew up in Canberra and you yes. ended up in Melbourne. Yep, she's just out and on I'm holidays. And I'm visiting from visiting. Canberra on holidays. And you're still in Canberra? I am, unfortunately. <gasps> <laughs> Canberra's nice and clean. <laughs> what else does it have going for it? Um, not a lot. I get away as often as I can. <laughs> Back to the names. How did you get your names? My dad's Turkish Lebanese, so hence the bizarre name. It actually means owl. It derives from the word Arkela, which means owl, hence the quiet and wise. Quiet and wise, my yeah. ass. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, where are your parents now? Uh, dad's in Canberra, mum's at Beauty Point up in New South Wales so from the beach. They're separated. Mm. Right. Divorced, yeah, Divorced. for many years, yeah. And were you an only child? No, I have many siblings. Many? <laughs> They're all over the shop, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> many siblings. <laughs> no, actually, there's about four. About? Yeah. <laughs> oh, and then, oh, it's ambiguous. There's like a few, like, steps and uh -huh. halves and, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So when your parents were divorced, were you, uh, were you young? Yep, I was really young. I was about six or seven. Mm. Seven. Same. Mm. Mm. Same as you? Yes. Yeah? Did, did that, did it affect you, do you think? Yeah, it always does, no matter yeah. what. I think it always affects children. I think it's a horrible thing. But it's best in the long run, of course, but it does affect yeah. children. Do you, are you still in touch with both parents? I am now. I wasn't in touch with my dad for years, but now we're like we're quite close. Or we're getting close. Uh, yes. Yeah. How? Just by... um, through just contact. Like, yeah. I'm really making an effort via phone. And then I went and saw him before I went overseas because I thought if anything happens, because it was a pretty full-on time that we were going, yeah. it's the whole Iraq. Yeah. America thing and so I made contact and then ever since then we've been going strong it's good. <laughs> and, and, is it, and, and I guess it's, it's something it's, that you well I guess I always wanted but yeah. I didn't realize but yeah. I always wanted his acceptance as yes. a dad and now it's great yeah. I love it and uh, your relationship with your mum is so strong stronger than ever she's my best friend Mum, I love you <laughs> <laughs> you gotta put that on you have to put that in on okay oh. And you, Magenta? Yes. You, you you live in Canberra with your parents? or? Uh, no, no. My mum lives in Sydney and my dad lives just out of Canberra on a farm. Right. And yes. Do you have a similar kind of um, relationship with your dad now? Um, well, no, no, I've always been very close with yeah. both of my parents. Um, there's only a 19-year age difference between us, so they were very young when they had me. Yeah. And, they were um, hippies. They were young hippies, <laughs> hence the name. Hence yeah. um, Magenta, yes. Yes, and the Rocky Horror Picture Show, of course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so, yes, and I am the eldest of five children, mm -hmm. so I have lots of brothers and sisters. and. My family life is great. My yes. parents are fabulous. Yes. Is that magenta, that colour? The, the, the Yes, that's about it. It's yes. it's more the colour of a five dollar note, that kind of purpley yes. pink. Right. So do you like the colour? I love it, it's my favourite ever. <laughs> is it really? Yeah. Wow. How are you doing? Cool. We're meeting people around Australia. Oh yeah. Anybody? I'm a crazy in the city kid. A crazy in the city kid with a with my wife, who's about to have a baby in 10 days. In yeah. 10 days? Yeah. Yes. That's very funny. We just met somebody, another couple whose baby is due in 10 days. Yeah. Are you also a crazy inner city kid? Uh, no, just married to one. <laughs> how did you get married? I mean, how did you meet and all that? We met at the Prince of Wales in St Kilda. That's a, that's a, a pub? pub? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. And um, i just gotten home from a long holiday and Kirsten was down there and yeah. We took off and um, we haven't spent a day apart since. And that was how long ago? Um, uh, not long ago, like... 18 months? 18 months. Yeah. 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 So it was instant. 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 And everyone knows that, you know, we're totally in love and <laughs> says, geez, it's good to see a couple that's so in love, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and, and you're totally unalike, is that right? Unalike? Yeah. Are yeah. you sort of opposites? Is that um, why? Yeah, well... In some things, I suppose. Yeah, but, but she's come along a long way 
moved towards, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's trained me, so it's <laughs> Do you try and change him? No, not really. No, she doesn't. Some, some things, but no. I, they're how they are. You can't really change them, I don't think. Yeah. What about the baby? What are the plans? Oh. Um, well, we think Quick, it's a little boy. Birth. Right? <laughs> yeah. And, um, yeah, no, it's just make sure he's a man's man when he grows up. and Even if it's a girl? No, no, oh, no. <laughs> We're yeah. pretty sure he's a boy. We right. checked it on the old okay. Well, that leads to the question about you, really, about what sort of a guy and what sort of a father you're going to be. Yeah. Are you a bloke bloke? Or... I am, yeah. You're not a snag? No. No, uh, it's not a snag. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, I, um, I like to think I'm a man's man, you know? Okay. So, um, yeah. Is, is, uh, is that uh, blokiness, mm -hmm. is that something that appealed to you when you met him? Yeah, yeah. Yep. I like, I like um, the strength, someone who's strong and who can stick yep. up for family and protect us and yep. don't want someone who's going to cry in the car when you are. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah, so just, um, world's a bit crazy these days, so make sure a kid yep. has good morals, family, yep. statute, things like that. And, right. um, like, when you find someone, stay with them forever and love one and life, happiness. One love, and yeah, mm. all that. Yeah. Can I ask what you do? Oh, I don't work? No. And I'm a nurse. You don't work by choice or you...? Pretty much. Um, I, I had a bit of a stuffed teenagehood. Ended up going away for a while and came back and Kirsten's pretty much pulled me straight. But I'll probably end up being a stay-at-home dad because simply um, I, I just haven't got qualifications or anything. When so, you say you had a stuffed up teenage hood, you mean you did things that yeah, I, I just lived other too, people? I lived too close to the city yeah. and uh, fell in with the wrong crowds, you right. know? And um, yeah. It, so when you got, when you went away, that was to break, the circuit breaker, to get out of that? that I went to jail. But the dying, <laughs> you know, uh, the dynamics of growing up and getting into things too quick and, and, and the world's changed so much and um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was just too young. Yeah. But um, how I'm, long, I'm a good person inside, you know. Yeah, so. how long were you in jail? Um, a couple of times, uh, about 18 months. Okay, so, but not long enough to, to institutionalise you, as it were. Oh, uh, it's, it's, I'll tell you what, it's very hard when you get out. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's, um, you, you suffer cabin fever, like you never want to leave your house, you know. It's, mm. it's really hard to get back into society, but, um, you know, Kirsten's been really good. And that ha you met Kirsten shortly after? Yeah, two weeks after. That was a, that was a piece of good fortune. Yeah. <laughs> I was up front and, um, you know, I, I am looking, I was looking to uh, better my life, you know, so, no, we And the universe now. was listening and yeah. sort of... Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> We weren't looking for anyone. We just yeah. happened to meet at, at the time. Yeah. So. yeah. yeah. But uh, you know, I'm lucky because I'll never jeopardise now what I've got, and yeah. um, I've managed, you know, to stay out of trouble because this good lady here. Yeah. And um, yeah, looking, you know, now we've got a mortgage and everything's yeah. going well, and my house, and yeah, we're happy. Sounds pretty good. I hope you have a terrific birth. Thank Are you. Are you going to be there? Oh yeah, I'll be yeah. there all the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what have you got a name picked out for him? Maddie. 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 Matthew. Maddie. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Alrighty. If it's a girl, we'll have to change the yeah. wardrobe. If it's a girl, it's a Sammy Joe. <laughs> yeah. Why do you have dog prints on the floor? Well, some dogs come in here, and then. We can't, we can't take it off, so... <laughs> <laughs> yes. My name's Andrew. Hello, Andrew. What's your name? Huey. Huey. Is this yeah. your business? Yes. How long have you been here? Uh, 13 years. So, it's going all right. <laughs> yes, it's going okay. So far, so good. Yeah. You know, ever since... I've seen you on SBS. Yes, that's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. Now, is, is, are any of the rumours true about people who process photos and they get into people's private lives? Do you, do you get to know people through their photos? You mean uh, keeping regulars? Uh, oh, regulars, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, what you mean is uh, then, so you get keeping, to know? Yeah, yeah. You get to know them quite well through what the yeah the, the photographs. The yeah, because photos. sometimes people bring in here 
for photos when the child was born and until it's grow up. They still keep coming here. Tell us about your family. You have what sort of family? You have, uh, you're married? Yeah, I'm married. Uh, With children? I have uh, one wife and, <laughs> and three daughters. <laughs> one wife and three daughters? Yes. So it's a female household? Yeah, female. Uh, I'm the only one yes. as a block in the house. <laughs> <laughs> and what's, your, what's well. your background? <laughs> a Vietnamese. Uh -huh. yeah. And your, your wife also? Yes, yeah. also. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but your children were born here? Yeah, they all yes. were born here. Yeah. Yeah. I was one of the boat people. Yeah. Left Vietnam. 1980, end of the year 18. How many others on the boat? 71. And yeah. were you married by at that stage? No, no I was no, no. 17. You were still your kid. I was 17. Yeah. 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 And so, did that? Were you on your own? Yes, I was by myself. I mean, you, you my family sent 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 just me. Oh, I see. Uh, to the trip, and the rest just you know other people normally. followed. But, but yeah, you were the yeah. first. Yeah. And did the no, family? there are two brothers. There are two brothers who came, who left Vietnam, who escaped from Vietnam yeah. first. Uh -huh. They ended up in Germany first. And did your parents have to pay for the yeah. boat? Yeah. 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 Expensive? Um, well, each trip, each trip about you know, a thousand US dollars sometimes. So That's quite a lot of money yeah. then. Oh yeah. In Vietnam. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So everything is US dollars or so gold. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And did you? Were you afraid? Were you worried? Very much. Yeah. You got 99 percent death in your hand yeah. when you are when you are high risk, high, very high risk. Yeah. When you you know to the ocean and yes. run and run away from communists and yeah. um, use with a very small boat. Uh, so it's and pretty did scary. You, did the boat get into trouble or, or was it fairly? Yeah, small? yeah. We uh, end up in the ocean. We spend uh, four days and five nights and. Uh, we end up in uh, Usai, which is one of the very small village in Thailand. So, uh, a very long trip. Mm. We got only one day sunny day, mm -hmm. and the rest is just storm. Yeah. It was uh, in November. Yeah. So very very stormy, stormy season. Yeah. And, and lucky we still alive. <laughs> yes. The, and what was what was the first opportunity you had to let your parents know that you'd survived in where you were? We um. My, my parents gave me a, a ring, so I sold it to the market, and then uh, I used the money to, to, to go to the uh, post office in Thailand, and then I sent a dia diagram, yeah? A telegram. A telegram, tele tele sorry, a yeah. telegram. Yes. Yeah. Whose ring was it? It just... Not, just a family ring. Yeah. yeah. No, it's it bought from the market. Oh, I see. Because when you go to the sea, such a escape escape route like yes. that, you have to use gold. Yes, you so can't gold carry anything. No, it carry it can't. It's small and yeah. valuable. Yeah, and yeah. something happened, I sw swallowed the ring. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have to swallow the ring? Uh, yes, I had. I had, Did you? I had to, because uh, during the trip, we didn't meet any uh, pirates, Thai pirates. Mm. But when we arrived, and uh, the local police search, search us, and then just get get a, I mean rip rip or rip, rip, rip us all all take off. Take everything. Take everything. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I just quickly put the ring in my mouth, swallow it. Yeah. And get it next day. Next. <laughs> <laughs> when did everybody finally arrive here? Um, we we had a, a, a big family reunion in uh, in 2001 mm -hmm. when uh, we uh, we uh, celebrate our parents' 60th uh, anniversary. 60th. 60th. 60th wedding anniversary. Yes, wedding anniversary. <laughs> big big uh, celebration, and uh, it was a great moment that we all reunited. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Otherwise, yeah. We sometimes, you know, ring using a yeah. phone, emails. And where, they, where are they now? Your parents? The parents are here in mm -hmm. Australia. Yeah. Uh, my sister and another brother, they all here. And their families, they all here. Mm -hmm. Two brothers in uh, Germany still, and one in Vietnam. Yeah. Mm. And how did you get into this business? How did you start did you come back? this? Uh, I just like... I, I like colors. <laughs> yeah, I like colors. So, and uh, plus, I like I like the job because it's all keeping memories for people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, creating, you know, yes. doing develop, developing, yeah. making memories. So yes. people give it to yeah. people, 
they're very important to people, photos. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're the treasures that people save first. Always, always. Uh, yeah. Memories. Yeah. Priceless. Yeah. yeah. yeah.